Hello friends, welcome in the video and today's video is based on anti-emetics. These are the drugs used to control or stop vomiting. In this video, we are going to see what are the causes of vomiting, why vomiting center which is responsible for vomiting it is stimulated, what are the different relay centers related to this vomiting which send the nerve impulse to vomiting center and which ultimately results in emesis or vomiting. What are the different type of receptors located in the relay centers which are stimulated or the chemicals or the drugs bind to them and which leads to vomiting. Then if you get idea about the receptors automatically you will learn the classification of anti-emetic drugs. So let us start. See the process of emesis can be controlled by big thing, big process. B I G, B and G, B for brain and G for G I T means gut. We know whenever vomiting is there, the content which is present in the stomach, it comes out. And after that, the person feels relief. It means there will not be anything vomiting. Means the content which is present in the stomach it is expelled out. So one of the way to treat the vomiting is the content which is present in the stomach it has to be descend down in the intestine with the help of drugs which are called as prokinetic drugs or the gastric herring agents. See the GIT part we will discuss in the next video. Today we will be focusing on the B means brain. Whenever vomiting is there, it is due to stimulation of vomiting center. When vomiting center stimulates, vomiting is there, emesis is there. Emesis is made of these words. ME stands for medulla oblongata. So this is the first question. Where is the vomiting center located? Medulla oblongata in the brain. This video is very useful for the persons who are preparing for competitive exams like pharmacist exams, bit set, NIPER, GATE and other exams. Also it is useful for the students who are preparing for the university exams for long answers. Now again you will come to the video. See the three or the four main things which are related to the vomiting center which send the nerve impulse or which send the information to the vomiting center to cause emesis are cortex, chemoreceptor trigger zone, nucleus tractus salicarius and ear. This is cortex, this is chemoreceptor trigger zone, this is nucleus tractus solitarius and this is ear. To remember this, we have developed one mnemonic or a trait. What is that? Colorful chemicals nuts motion. Colorful represents cortex, chemicals represents chemoreceptor trigger zone, nuts represents NTS, and motion is related to ear. See, chemoreceptor trigger zone, here is the spelling, and nucleus tractus solitarius, here is the spelling. Now we will see one by one how these four things are stimulated and vomiting is there. This is cortex and whenever a person feels nauseated or vomited by seeing a definite sight or a peculiar smell or because of certain pain in that case cortex is involved means some color thing is involved that's why we have given this name as colorful. Next thing comes chemicals. Chemicals means we are talking about the drugs and drugs like substances which when enter into the body they interact with the CTZ chemoreceptor trigger zone located in the brain. Once these chemicals come here they interact with the receptors present in the CTZ and once these receptors are there stimulated with the chemicals they send impulse to the vomiting center and vomiting is there. Similarly, NTS, nucleus tractus solitarius, it has also different receptors. The drugs or chemicals bind to these receptors, nerve impulses have been sent and vomiting is there. 
Now the question comes, what are the different receptors in NTS and CTZ? It means we are discussing the targets of anti-hematic drugs. Because if we know the drug responsible for causing vomiting, we can develop the anti of that drug. How? Now we will see. We will first discuss the NTS. Now what are the receptors present? For that, again, you have to remember one simple sentence. What is the simple sentence? That NTS is heavily overloaded with five main drugs of Nike company. Once again, I am saying NTS is heavily H overloaded with five main drugs of Nike, Nike company. Okay, see, we are, it is just to remember the things, we are not promoting any company and we are not criticizing any company. It is just to remember the mnemonic of the receptors. H stands for histamine, receptor is H1. O stands for opium, mu receptor. 5 means 5 H3 receptor, serotonin. M for muscarin, M1 receptor. D for dopamine. This dopamine is present in the form of dot. So D, T, dopamine and T for 2. Matlab, do, 2 receptor is there. Nike means NK, neurokinin receptor. NK1 receptor. So following are the receptors which are responsible for causing images. So these are the receptors. Now we will see the CTZ, chemo receptor trigger zone. The difference is you have to exclude two things M and H. It means CTZ is overloaded with five drugs of NK. So overloaded with five drugs of Nike. The receptors are same which are present in the NTS. Now the two are missing. What are these? M and H. Just to remember I am telling you. Here is the M and H. Now where it is connected to? Whenever the person he is in motion. Or the fast motion. We know there is development of vomiting. Means vomiting is there. Means some drugs which are autotoxic in nature. Or whenever the motion is there, through ear, the information is sent to the cerebellum, which is ultimately reaches to vomiting center and vomiting is there. The receptors involved are M1 and H1. To remember this, again, you have to use one simple mnemonic that whenever heavy motion is there, means it is related to ear. If you simply revolve, vomiting will not be there. But when you will revolve with heavy motion, definitely you will feel the vomiting. So means H1 and M1 receptors are involved here. Now the question comes, why the NTS has been stimulated? Why these receptors have been stimulated? The mediators or the drugs which are present in the GIT, like the drugs, like the whenever inf inflammation is there, mediators are released, infection is there, and irritation is there, these things ultimately reaches to the NTS and vomiting is there. From GIT, information reaches not only to NTS, it is also related to the CTZ, means CTZ also stimulated by the mediators of GIT. Apart from this, this CTZ is also stimulated by the different drugs which reach to the brain, to this area, CTZ area. What are the different drugs? Imatine, epomorphine, morphine, levodopa, and digoxin. It means the main side effect of all these drugs will be emesis or vomiting. Why? Because they are directly stimulating the CT there. So this is the story about the antimatic drugs receptors. And now because we remember the mnemonic heavy overloaded with five main drugs of NIK company, we can easily answer the classification. So this is about the part one of antimatic drugs. In the next part, we will see the classification of the drugs, how to remember the different types of drugs, and how it is correlated with the mechanism. Be in touch, keep watching video, best of luck.